Hello everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today I'll be checking out Komnenos the Byzantine Restoration, a custom campaign created by Filthy Delphia, uh, otherwise known as Philly Soldier, available in the mod browser. This campaign, uh, as the title suggests, features the Byzantines, Byzantines here, and uh, we'll go ahead and see what it is all about. From the notes of Anna Komnin, daughter and sister of emperors. My father, Alexius Komnenos, must have known he was a dead man. He had been sent by the emperor to kill the usurper Melissenos. Alexius would not have hesitated to go to battle, but the rebel was married to Alexius' own sister. Rather than killing a member of his family, he chose to disobey the emperor. Now he was summoned to the imperial court, Surely, Alexius was facing his own death. But also surely, there were many in the city who would support him. Alexius had heard the whispers in the market and the senate hall. The emperor was a weak and old man who could only watch the empire be consumed by war and rebellion. He clung to power only through the fear brought by his Varangian guard. Surely, plots were forming to depose him. As he marched to meet the emperor, Alexius knew that it was time for decisive action. Alright, so with custom campaigns, sometimes it can be a little bit unclear how long they are supposed to last. So I might need to split this into multiple episodes, I might need to pause recording in the middle at some point. But we can at least get through the intro here. Alexius, the Emperor summons you. He is not pleased with your refusal to put down the usurper, Melissenos. Right, so our objectives are to report to the Emperor, and Alexius must survive. Our hints tell us that as Emperor, you receive taxes and gold every spring. Trade this gold for resources at the market. Conquer cities from your enemies to increase your tax revenue. Kill all the enemies occupying a city to capture it. Workers for building defenses and repairing ships can be trained at the market. These villagers cannot gather resources, however. Okay. The Byzantine tech tree has been modified. Legionaries are trainable at the barracks, and Varangians can be recruited at the monument. The Byzantines do not have access to camels and knights. Interesting. Three prominent men will offer objectives. The eunuch, the strategos, and the patriarch. Each represents their own interests, the state, the military, and the church, but they will help you strengthen the empire. Monitor your legitimacy on a 0 to 100 scale. If legitimacy falls below 50, rebellions will occur. You lose legitimacy by losing men or buildings in battle and being wounded. Legitimacy can be restored by completing the eunuch's objectives or giving to the masses at the amphitheater by holding a chariot race. Note that the cost of races will increase with each use. There are four chariot teams in Constantinople, white, green, red, and blue. If you favor the team that wins the race, you will receive an additional boost to legitimacy. Complete the Strategos' objectives to provide temporary boosts to your legionaries and cataphracts. Complete the Patriarch's objectives to receive cohorts of Western Crusaders. Our scouts report that Alexius Kemnenos begins as a Strategos general, serving the Emperor Nikephoros at Constantinople. Much of the empire has been conquered by rival peoples or taken by various rebel groups. Just east of Constantinople is Anatolia, controlled by the Seljuk Turks in green. They are fearsome horsemen who fight as steppe lancers, keshiks, and cavalry archers. Through their conquest of Arab and Persian lands, the Seljuks have learned the value of heavier armaments and are well equipped. Rather than fight directly, the Turks prefer to lure the Byzantines into the open steppe. To the west, Italy is controlled by the Normans in Sion. While their armies include footmen and archers, their heavy knights are their most powerful asset. Not even the Byzantine cataphracts are able to resist the charge of Norman cavalry. The Fatimids in yellow rule the city of Tripoli in the southeast, an important waypost on the pilgrim's road to Jerusalem. Their caliphate is plagued by civil war, so they cannot expand aggressively. Their city is well defended with infantry and mamelukes, however. To the northwest, the river Danube marks the Roman frontier. Beyond the river are Pechenegh steppe nomads in orange who fight as Tarkins and Kipchaks. 
Though the river barricades keep the Pechenegs at bay, a mass migration of this people will quickly threaten Byzantine lands. Various rebels in red control the cities and islands of Greece and the coastal cities of Anatolia and Italy. Defeating these rebels will restore these cities to imperial control. If the imperial legitimacy is allowed to decline, pretenders in blue will claim the throne. These claimants will command by Byzantine-style armies of legionaries, cataphracts, and siege. All right, let's go ahead and get started here, shall we? These Celts are a stinky and ungrateful lot. I remember when only true Romans walked these streets. Now all I see are foreigners. Alexius, I know you refused my order to kill your brother-in-law, but I have more important matters to deal with, and I respect your loyalty to blood. There are rebels and usurpers challenging my rule. I cannot trust my own generals. I am giving you command to recruit an army to put down these rebels. I have entrusted the pay for the soldiers with one of my most trusted eunuchs. You will meet him at the camp outside the walls. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to kill his elite Varangian bodyguard here. Because I know that one of the first objectives we have here in the mission will be to kill these bodyguards. I'm just going to skip that entire sequence by choosing it. And they're not even going to fight me back. That Varangian was pretty scary. He had a ranged attack. And this one has 20 melee attack. Okay, now that that's done, we will just go on our merry way here and move on towards the camp. Alexius, it has been too long. When will I see you again? Oh, my husband keeps you away from me. Listen, we can be rid of him. Go to the army camp and meet the eunuch there. He will tell you of our plans. Alexis, I presume. The Empress has a strong but choosy appetite. If she desires you, then you too must have some worth in you. Listen, I used the Emperor's gold to bribe our political allies. But we still need rough and ready men. There are rebels nearby, but they wouldn't listen to me. You could convince them to join us. But don't let these brutes tear down the walls. We are liberators, not besiegers. Find a way to get them into the city. Harm no one or nothing besides garrison. And then, of course, now I'm triggering some additional voice lines here. Nikiforos, your time has ended. Step down and Alexis will be emperor. Undone by my own wife and my most trusted friends. Let me leave in peace and you will not hear from me again. No, don't let this armor fool you. I am not a fighter. I am much better working my magic at the court. I prepared two treatises, hints and scouts for you to read. I strongly recommend you read them. Once you're finished with that, it's time to build an army and restore the empire. Guard, stop them! Now all the voice lines are out of uh, out of order here. The Varangians are mercenaries of the north. They come from a mar martial culture, so do not require training. Only a little gold will bring them to your service. Spending gold, or the Varangians are fearsome warriors, but more importantly, they serve as your imperial bodyguard. It would help your legitimacy to recruit more of them. Just don't mind their stench. No, I do not. So what I'm going to go for is a pretty monk heavy composition early on so I can get conversions and heals. Emperor, your commander in northwestern Anatolia has not reported for some time. I suggest sending an army across the straits to find their camp. Spending gold on bread and circuses will always improve your legitimacy, but if you happen to publicly, publicly favor the winning team in the chariot races, you'll become even more beloved. Salve. Sane. Okay, so we have some new primary objectives here. We need to make sure we maintain legitimacy above 50 so that we don't get 
Sounds the bell bomb, which means we need to prevent ourselves from getting injured and prevent ourselves from dying, or our soldiers from dying. I, 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 I. May the Lord Christ bless you in your reign, Emperor Alexius. I come with a recommendation. If we can find and save holy relics from the reed heathens, the Christian world will know our piety. Impero Ago. Puño. Ain Borro. Ain. We actually endured no losses there. Very good. Impero. Presto. Presto. Salve. Correctus. And we have three monks to speak of, as well as a couple of Rangians. These legionnaires aren't going to get any stronger because they were guy units originally. The river Danube marks the frontiers of the empire. Beyond these barricades are fearsome barbarians who desire nothing but plunder and killing. Oh, there's a lot of cavalry archers. Emperor, the Normans under Robert Quiskert threaten our western flank. We should move quickly to Dorechium and defeat their invading armies. Okay. Doesn't look like there are any invading armies in that direction just yet. But it does seem like it would be a good idea to start moving in that direction, maybe. Salve. Impero Ago. Pressanita. Nice. So against uh, against archer units, we actually have a pretty good strategy there. We just move in our block of archers, uh, have them get gain attention, and then uh, go for heals. Managed to pull off two conversions there, and we didn't lose a single monk. We didn't actually lose a single unit, so this is already going much better than before. That is... Mega now by the looks of things. We can maybe think about sniping it. Is it, like, actually on top of a cliff? This year's taxes have been collected. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and train a couple of fire galleys here. Let's do, let's do four fire galleys. And then we can do... Let's do the next tier of... Blacksmith upgrades, so iron casting, 220 food, I need more, let's get that, and then we can get two more Varangians here. It's interesting how I just noticed that the, uh, the market is rebalancing itself as well. I wonder if we have like super major time pressure here. Oh, we just lost that Cav Archer from a direct hit for no good reason. Ein, 
All right, that battle still went reasonably well here. I don't think we lost too many units. We still have all our crossbowmen. We did lose one cav archer, unfortunately. But we can always replace it with more crossbowmen. Um, I don't think I want a block of cav archers to begin with anyhow. We have Lexus snipe the mangonel. We should be focusing on capturing conquering cities to boost our legitimacy, right? Um, that is a castle up there. So I'm not even sure if this is the right direction that we would want to go. I'd like to get Fletching next to see if it affects my defensive buildings at all. Let's consider moving southwards here. Soldiers arguing over dice game brawled in the streets and accidentally struck a senator. Some wonder why the emperor cannot control his senators. Okay, and as that happens, I lose a monk as well, which is horrible. That's a big blow, actually. I'm going to need to replace that monk. I didn't realize there would be enemies here. That was my mistake. I didn't scout well. And just like that, our legitimacy actually dropped by a lot. Uh, we, if we drop by any more, we're going to be below like the danger threshold. That's no good. Serious taxes have been collected. Great. Uh, let's get that replacement monk up. Wait for our boys to heal here. Uh, I'd like to pick up Fletching here while we're at it. Maybe think about improving my army a bit more. We'll just keep luring enemies out of this fortress here. We'll get two more Varangian soldiers. And keep working this system. I think this system works pretty well. Having converted some of these Bulgarian conics has been very helpful for our cause. Does Flet did Fletching boost my castle? It looks like it did. I think it did. At least I'm pretty sure it did. I'd like to capture this city here if I can. That's those are Norman boats coming through. 
Perfecto. Right. Normans run Cavaliers. I wanted one scout as well, just so that we can see further. Currently, that lack of early info is actually hurting us a bit because the enemies can see us before we can see them. Take some points. Drink a little too much wine, and the court is gossiping about what you said in your drunken stupor. Legitimacy is reduced by five points. Thessaloniki has been liberated, so our tax revenues will increase. Well, that's good. Now we have a scout. Awesome, we managed to get another conversion, I believe. Yeah, we have five conics now. And our legitimacy stayed at 50. I, I presume it's because... I'm pretty sure it's because we managed to capture the city. Presto. Lots of conics here. The year's taxes have been collected. You must improve your legitimacy. Sure, I will favor the white team. Oh god, there's so much text. Drink a little too much wine, yeah. Some of the nobles have gone to the country estates to conspire against you. You must improve your legitimacy. The legitimacy represents how much the people love you and how unlikely it is for pretenders to stab you in the back. When it falls below 50, pretenders will rebel. Using soldiers and buildings in battle causes your legitimacy to fall. I will offer objectives to improve your legitimacy. It can also be improved at the amphitheater. A particularly arrogant eunuch has taken to beating his male servants. What is it with all these scandals, man? A passing monk attempted to stop him but was also struck by the eunuch. The incident has damaged our legitimacy by five points. These guys have got to get their shit together. The horses of one team caught fright and darted to a rival chariot backed by the emperor. Animal natures are unpredictable and no one blamed the emperor for choosing the wrong team. Okay. So at the very least we got that out of the way. Let's buy a little food and get scale barding armor. Let's also train three more Varangans, get a monk. And maybe upgrade our monk walking speed here. Oh, 
But it looks like we've made it to our friends, the Normans, here. I I sane. Sane. Did my scout die? I do not see my scout cavalry anywhere. Maybe I did lose him. Well, that sucks. I was hoping to keep him alive. Uh, 8 out of 20 Varangians. Let's do 3 more. So we have 11. And we should be on the lookout for relics as well. I haven't seen any so far. Fine. Fine. Of course, as I say that, I lose a freaking ring in. And this whole garrison of like weak spearmen is also going to get cleaned up. Okay, completing the Strategos' armies inspire your armies, your legionaries, and cataphracts will fight harder for a short time. Do I have any legionaries? I don't feel like I have any legionaries or cataphracts, so that was a bit that was a bit of a waste, there, maybe. Emperor, many pilgrims wish to make the journey to Jerusalem, but the road at Tripoli is blocked by heathens. You must launch a crusade to take Tripoli and clear the roads. Okay, so it seems like this part of the countryside is mostly clear. Most of this area seems to just be pretty, like, land space here. Correct. It does seem like the area is vaguely Greece-shaped, right? If this is Constantinople, then the rest of it would be Greece. Those are knights. Correct. Okay, that was good. The Turks do not attack our cities. Sorry, I missed something. The Turks do not attack our cities to conquer them outright. Instead, they wish to lure us away from our walls into the open steppe to be butchered. Presto. Presto. Fine. Ein. 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 Back down to 51 legitimacy, unfortunately. Let's do four more elite berserks. Press 
Sane, presto. Still haven't found a relic yet. It'd be really nice if I could find one of those. We have new objectives here as well. Defeat the Fatimids, destroy the army camp, conquer Crete and Cyprus. I don't even know where those are. Presto, commita, ein. Presto, pugno, ein. Impero, presto, sane, commita, corro, ein. Impero, presto, ago, sane, ein, ein, sane, salve, sane. Impero, ein, ein, sane, ein, sane. Presto. Let's retreat a bit to heal. This fight got a little bit out of control. But we didn't lose any of our monks and we managed to convert a knight as well. Shouldn't we have Connex somewhere? We do. Those guys are being kept nice and safe, protecting this area in the north. I think monks in this mission are very vital uh, in order to both heal your units so that you're not losing very many of them, but also to convert, convert enemy units here. Like so. Presto, sane. This is a nice little town. Let's try to knock down this tower. Presto, porro. Doesn't look like there are too many slots to access it. So we'll just have to be slow and methodical about it, I guess. Hardy Thracian farm boys and Anatolian shepherd sons make good Roman soldiers. They are not quite Caesar's legions, but they will fight and rank to protect your archers. I have no arch. I have pretty much no archers left. Okay, watchtower. You are quite annoying. I wish I could hit you with more of my melee units. This year's taxes have been collected. Very nice. So have we? Nice. Mistress liberated. Tax revenues will increase. Your conquests have brought you fame, but the imperial administration is still lacking. Improving it requires some expense, but the rewards are certainly worth it. Uh, so we have a new objective, which is to advance the Imperial Age. Still doesn't look like there is a relic in any of these areas, though. Imperial Age costs 667 food. Yeah, let's go for that. Why not? We'll do Imperial Age next. Uh, we'll keep some gold on hand in case we need. In case we need to suppress or do some, you know, gain and stuff, the the chariot races. But we shouldn't need it right away. Do 
Bacchanera Ballistics later on as well. Demo raft, a fire galley. Having some navy on the water is proving to be very useful. And we can start rotating our army elsewhere now. We might need transport ships at some point. Do I have a siege workshop anywhere? I do. Probably need some rams too. These improvements to the Imperial Administration will also help the army. You can now train legionaries much quicker. Completing the Unix task improves our legitimacy. Nice. Um, Okay, so I'd like to get War Galley online too here. I'm gonna need to buy I, two sets, but it's a hundred gold, right? So I don't have the resources to research it right now. Looks like this entire island is clear. There's not much else to do now. Conquer Crete and Cyprus, destroy the Norman camp. I suppose we could go for the Norman camp next. Let's rotate northwards. The people respect and fear your bodyguard, making rebellion less likely. Now we just need some perfume to get rid of this Meringian stench. Now our legitimacy is super high, it's like 95, that's pretty good. And we are in the Imperial Age, which is pretty nice. Can I train trebuchets? I can train trebuchets. So instead of going for rams, I'll just go for a treb or two. Maybe two trebs. Can't wait for the next set of taxes to come in. I'm pretty sure they'll help us a lot. Our army's looking quite strong now as well. It'd be really cool if we could get our plate mail upgrade as well. How much is that? 300 food, 150 gold. This year's taxes have been collected. Great. Let's buy some food real quick. We'll get the next war galley upgrade. I also want to buy some wood, get two trebuchets. I don't feel the need to train anymore. Varangians. What I will do, however, is I will buy some food and train two villagers here. Just so that we can have them ready to repair this castle as needed. It has a lot of HP. I'm not super worried. The eastern side is not scared of me right now. And we'll also pick up Bodkin Arrow here. And after Bodkin Arrow, we'll also hit... Infantry upgrade. Let's repair the castle. I think it's kind of neat that we have limited resources. Let's get another fire ship out. Like, by having limited resources, we have to kind of play our cards correctly here. Presto. I'm 
Sane, I'm presto. Correct. Sane, I'm. Salve. Sane. I'm Sane. Presto. Sane. Okay, it doesn't look like we lost very many units. Presto. I'm the picho. That is an allied castle over there. Presto, I don't I'm sane. Correct. Let's try to convert this boat. See what happens. Nice, we got this fire galley on our side. That helps turn the tables a little bit. We're losing out on the water quite significantly. Don't want to lose these conics. That is a green transport ship. I want to move my trebuchets over in this direction. I think converting fire galleys is going to be quite important. Try to hunt down that transport ship over here, actually. They can't be up to any good. Taxes have been collected, very nice. Uh, let's strengthen the navy a bit. We'll get a transport ship and a few more fire ships out. And let's tread down, start trebbing down this castle here. Let's pick up chemistry to improve both our castle, our archers, and our fire ships. And now our soldiers are super strong. Two traps should also be able to enable us to take down just about anything. The 
have saved Durakium and showed the Normans our resolve. The soldiers will not forget this. Our legionaries and cataphracts will fight harder for a short time. Oh! So it's good to know that we haven't completely eliminated the Normans here. There's still work for us to do. I still haven't found a single relic, man. I found it. Kinda wanna find a safe landing zone if I can here. But in the meantime, we can take our army and start moving this way. Can't produce cannon aliens. So I, I feel like I'll need to develop a stronger navy at one point here. Just to ensure domination of the water. camp in northwestern Anatolia. Repair this dock. We can't re we can't rebuild docks. I just realized that. Ein Sale. Impale. Ein Porro. Here's taxes have been collected. It's quite a lot of taxes too. It's like 3k. Still got 94 legitimacy. That is quite a lot. I wonder if there's any mechanic in place to decrease it now that we've actually passed the objective, right? Your brother has gotten a servant girl pregnant since he is your kinsman. The scandal has damaged your, legis your legitimacy by 10 points. Well, I guess uh, that answers that question. Seems like we're not able to cross to the other side here just yet. Okay, well, um, I think we've taken care of just about everything on land, so... Oh, there's this little section down here, which we can still explore, I guess. Presto. 
Nein. Eins. Sahne. Pero. Ein. Correctus. Reficho. Ein. Sahne. Presto. Ein. Puño. Comita. Alright, let's start heading southwards here. We might should have just need to transport then. I think we might need to start investing in navy here. There doesn't appear to be much else to do. I'm gonna start investing in rage units early as well. Anything down here? I think the Normans are the major naval power here. So if we could turn around and maybe defeat the Normans, that could be pretty good. Um. So what I'll do here is I'm going to invest in bracer and archers and I'm gonna I'm gonna invest in my archer units with my taxes here this year. Um, and I'll get a second transport ship here. There's taxes have been collected, that's great timing. Arbalester, 300 wood, our food, we'll do thumb ring. I get more wood out here. Do we have an archery range here? We do. We'll do crossbowmen. Buy some food. Let's get the last archer armor here. We have plenty of fire ships out on the water. For too long we have been divided from our brothers in the west, perhaps by sending a delegation to the Patriarch in Rome. We can reconcile our faith. Okay, so cover relics, defeat the Fatimids, bring three monks to the monastery in the west. Two-fifty-two-fifty. I don't have enough resources for that. That's okay. I think uh, I think with what we've got, we've had we have enough. 
to make a lasting impact here. I'm just going to transport my whole army over. We still need to complete objectives so that we can maintain our legitimacy. Hey, <laughs> these cavaliers belong to us. Silly. Don't want to lose buildings too for the reason. Some guys to our walls. Front line just taking damage, and our arbalesters are firing away. I knew investing in archers was a good idea. Archers have the potential to just be extremely, extremely resource efficient because you can, you can save them, you can preserve them, you know? Up. 
Oh, kind of neat, though. Good conversions. I. Okay, apparently the Pechen eggs are on the move. We should send an army to protect the northwestern fl flank from these heathens. Oh boy. Ein Impero. Prago. Impero. Fine. I'll bring this army over. And I guess we can train some additional arbalesters here. Arbalesters and maybe some cataphracts. Get chain barding armor online. So as to not delay this push here. I want to make sure that we're able to push on two fronts at once. Oh, oh, why am I training villagers? I don't need villagers. The north is an endless steppe that vomits up endless hordes of horsemen. We can only hold back the tide by building fortifications along the Danube. You see, implying that I should build towers. I guess I could do that. Correct, Sane. In that case, I'll buy some stone and I should upgrade to guard tower. Salve. Buy more stone, buy some wood. And do keep, which is really expensive. Oh, they have trebs.
Sale, Sonita, Ay, Porro, Sale, Puño, Ves, Ay, Perro, Ay, Ay, Sale, Sonita, Ay, Puño, Sale, Porro, Ay, Sonita, Puño, Ay, Sonita, Ay, 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 Sale, Correctus, Pero, Sale. Condo. Presto. Ein. Correctus. Ein. Con Condo. Inferno. Ein. Alright, we lost a lot of our soldiers here. Inferno. That's honestly okay. We can still send villagers back here. Oh, and I did lose a couple villagers over here. I'm correct. Where did these soldiers come from? Did they get like transported over? They must have gotten transported over. Press I, Sane, 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 Okay, the Petrin eggs Sane. are flooding. Shh. It will soon reach Constantinople. Oh my god. Impero, Sane. Presto. Impero, Porro. Okay, so my two measly towers there were definitely not good enough. Three modest monks here. I'm correct. Well, what do you want from me? I'm correct. I'm correct. Rest on it. What more could you want from me? Correct. 
So this, there we go. In honor of our reconciliation, the Pope pledges us crusaders from the Frankish and German lands. Forces of the winning team were better conditioned and won easily. If people enjoy the show too much, you really notice that the Emperor had favored one of the losing teams. Okay, that's fine. Let's do arrow slits. Crusaders going now. Bunch of missionaries here. That's really good. We're pushing the nomads back across the Danube. Many of our Romans are dead. The surviving soldiers will tell their grandchildren how they saved Constantinople to this day. Okay. That's great. Let's uh, rebuild these walls here. Grab ourselves fortified wall as well. Get a second pair of trebuchets out. Correctus. Let's have the villager spend some stone to repair that castle. <laughs> we still haven't found any relics either. Legitimacy is back down to 56, so it's quite low now. So we have stabilized somewhat here, and I hope this is the last of the Normans. ourselves a transport ship on the east side to prepare for an eastward transportation system here. Uh, 
Presto. Sale. 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 Morro. Permita. Sane. Pero repicho. Presto. Repicho. Ay. Rectus. Pero repicho. Sane. Repicho. Cuando presto. Repicho. Ay. 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 Sane. All right, our primary focus now should be this castle. Out of resources, we'll keep this villager here. Uh, we'll keep this villager here just to make sure that. We scar, get out of here. Alrighty, let's buy some more food. Some cataphracts online. Once this castle's down. Oh, well, we defeated them. The Norman knights were no match for disciplined Roman soldiers. We have driven them from Italy. Bless. Let's rebuild a fleet of fire ships just to clear out the remainder of these Normans here. Still no sight of any relics. Let's get these crossbows back here so that we can heal them up. Am I able to build trade carts? I'm not able to build trade carts. Let's have these two fire ships float in, then bait these fellas into the castle. Good, very good. And we can have them just clean up the rest of these. And let's just clear out these Norman buildings for good measure. No relic in this area, huh? Correct. Yeah, still no relic in these parts. That's a rip.
Pero Sane. Pero puño. Ahí. Sane. Aen con Mita. Aen. Those Crusaders actually Aen. came in super clutch. Bringing those three monks over there really helped us Aen. with their push. Aen. Give us some melee units that we direly needed in order to protect our trebuchets and make the assault on the Norman castles here. Taxes have been collected, very nice. And our transports can now hold way more units than before. Salve, I'm Rectus. Condo, condo, con, con, condo. Pero puño. Aen porro. Impero comita. Salvain presto. Correcto. Sane. Salvrectus. Get two more fire ships out here for insurance, but things seem to have quieted down quite a lot here now. Press again, Sane. camp in northwestern Anatolia. Anatolia must be here, right? I, I was... I, I remember that... Is Anatolia in Turkey? Because Constantinople is in... is in Turkey. Like, modern-day Turkey. And this, I assume, is like... the Izmit? Or, like, this is the Black Sea up here, right? So... Should I have... I guess the, the army camp would be somewhere here in the east side here? Maybe? I don't know. Salve, 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 Shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. Maybe there's a relic on that island. Maybe there's a relic on this island. Oh, there's ruins here. That's a good sign. Any relic? No relic. Kind of shocked that we, we haven't had any relics here. Uh, had a stone. Let's buy a little bit. Salve. Just in case the Pechenegs get any additional ideas. 
Quando? Quando? Presto. Ein. Ein. Quando? Impero? Quando? Salve. Quando? 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 Impero? Ein. Anything. Any relic. Any special island out here at all. Taxes have been collected. Honestly, things are looking quite good for us. Getting relics would only find us get us Crusader Knights, right, from the Patriarch. So it's not a it's not a massive requirement. Is this Crete? Grab elite cataphracts. Feel like I'd like to transition to cataphracts soon for this final leg. Cataphracts and arbalesters. send a cavalry archer this direction just to see if there's a relic on the other side of the water there. I kind of doubt it. I hardly expect that to be the intention. But I guess we will Salve. find out. Meanwhile, our navy is floating to the four corners of the earth. Yeah, I don't, I don't really expect... I highly doubt there's a relic over there. I highly, highly doubt it. Relic? No relic. Disappointing. Ein. Impero. Pressane. Ein. 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 Pugno. Comita. Pressane. has been liberated. Nice. Impero. 
Sogno. Okay, there are red ships here, which implies to me that there will be other ships here as well. There's taxes have been collected. Very nice. Never got our last cavalry armor. That'd be a shame. In a real game, we would have been totally out of order on that. Keep exploring these coastlines. Aha! There is a relic here. Can I slip through this narrow passage here? Pero? I hope I can. It does look like that I can. Seljuk transport ship is a bit suspicious. Yeah, if this is Crete, right? Cyprus is also an island, so it should be there should be an island somewhere out there. A Turk named Chatas claims your throne and has mobilized an army of Turks against you at Smyrna. Kill him before he becomes an even greater threat. What I like about this mission is that it is pretty much purely military focused. Oh no, we almost lose this transport. Let's not do that. Yeah, that transport has a lot of crusaders in it. Like, it re requires you, since you're working with limited resources, 
It requires you to balance your military exploits very well. You have to trade efficiently. And I, I think that gives this mission a lot of good flavor that otherwise, that you don't like normally get in a, in a campaign mission, right? Taxes have been collected, very nice. It definitely feels like I am a military commander rather than just some some guy. Rather than just a city sim kind of guy. It's very it's a very unique take. Camp, but the Turks are all around us. Recruit men to defend this point, and we will continue to search for survivors. Got it. Oh, I don't want to lose my emperor. It's a good thing he didn't die there. I need to figure out which angle I want to come at these guys from. I think maybe from the north would be easier. It seems like it has more room. Despite my shrewd management of your legitimacy, it seems that some ambitious generals desire your throne for their own selfish ends. A rebellion is in the works, and I can feel it. Well, I do not like the sounds of that. We have been doing a pretty good job here. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit hurt. You know, we've been above 50 for most of the most of the game. I 
Here's taxes have been collected. Let's get a couple of villagers across and buy some stone. Pretender claiming to be a long deposed. Oh my. So many voice bubbles. A pretender claiming to be a long deposed emperor has appeared. Many of the dissatisfied nobles and soldiers back his claims. We have a civil war on our hands. Are you kidding me? There are rumors that your wife is sleeping with a prominent Strategos. Those these rumors are certainly false. The scan scandal has damaged our legitimacy. Okay, their janky movements is... Causing my game to lag. This guy's squishing his own stuff? Okay, so fortunately for us, everything else can be rebuilt. We did lose a siege workshop. Ein, 
But so long as we don't lose our main block of archer, we should be okay. And we still have units out here in Anatomia too. The Pretender's armies have been crushed, and he has been captured and blinded. You rule through you rule through might and fear, but your throne is now secure. I certainly freaking hope so. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was fun and nerve wracking. Let's get our block of archers back across the water here. Continue training arbalesters, continue training cataphracts. We'll get murder holes out here while we still have a university. We have a siege workshop all the way over here as well, which is good. That means even though we lost our other siege workshop, our main siege workshop, so to speak, we're still doing just fine overall. So, the Seljuk Turks seem to be in the northeast here. I think we should go after them next. Ugh. These internal squabbles, they, they annoy me to no end. here and massacred them. They will pay for this this time. Okay. Sane. 
Here's taxes have been collected right. as usual. Our fighters are now being drawn out. Red is our, no our non-replenishing forces. So basically, any red unit that I kill is permanently dead. I like that a lot. All right, any relic here to be had? No, no relic. Byzantines look great in purple, by the way. But these, uh, these Turks, at least this camp is about to go down. Who knows if they have war or not. It does look like they have a couple stables out here. And I think something that's important is because your the market is rebalancing and you're using gold to exchange with food and wood in a one-to-one, -one, some units are definitely better than others. For example, arbalesters and skirmishers. Normally skirmishers are cheaper overall because it's easier to get food and wood. Um, but actually, since gold is equally easy to get, arbalesters are really the right way to go. I wouldn't recommend training skirmishers at all. The Turks are retreating back across the mountains. We have avenged our defeat at Mansfield. Emperor Alexius, I must admit that I had my own doubts about you, but you have proven to be a wise and skilled leader. You have crushed our enemies and restored us to greatness. You've entered free play mode, rule and conquer to our heart's content, and finished to meet Alexius Kamenos to retire to private life. Okay, so it seems like we've won. Fine. Nice, so that, that was pretty fun overall. Uh, I'll just continue playing a little bit longer uh, as we wait here. Maybe consider going for some of these other objectives. I don't know where relics two and three are. I suppose 
it depends on like the order that we did our objectives, right? I imagine if we went to Anatolia first, instead of dealing with the Normans first, we might have had more opportunities to get those relics. Um, as of present, I will see what there is to do by continuing to push in each direction here. So there's a second relic. We have two monks here. And now we're just in free play mode. I like the exploration aspect of it. I also like how the map is pretty geographically accurate. Maybe not entirely to scale, but I can tell that this is like Greece here, this is Turkey here. Um, I'm not sure what this is. This might be Italy by my best estimate. Um, so there's that. And this would be kind of like the, the step, the Arabian Peninsula, so to speak. Presto. Nope, I don't want Greek fire. I want cataphracts. Salve. Antioch has been liberated, yeah. So it definitely seems like there is a potential reordering to this. Here's our Emperor Alexius. Hockey in the one again. I'll just continue moving downwards. Here's the Fatimids. Get some fire ships out. Keep training more Arbalusters. Which, Mirna's been liberated. Yeah, since there's so many towns in this area, I think the mission really allows you to do these objectives in a specific order. I also do like the unexpected nature of like the Pechenegs attacks, the, uh, the rebellion as well. I think these are all pretty neat elements of the mission. And I like how the mission is primarily military focused. I think this must be... This must be Cyprus. Which is featured in a historical battle, by the way, where we play as the Britons. I 
definitely highly recommend Arbalesters for this mission. They just absolutely tear things up, and they're even more economically efficient than usual due to the unique eco mechanic. Presto. Sane. Sane. Ago. Second relic recovered. Maybe the Fatimates have a third relic. Or something like that. I also like the legitimacy mechanic. Uh, it, it is like a fun, neat little gamble for the chariot races. It's not a very important mechanic though, all things considered. Um, if you're forced to use it, you're kind of already falling behind. So if you're playing well, you won't need to use it. That's the way I see it anyway. Akiforos Diogenes thought he'd be an emperor. Now he'll spend his days in blind exile. People recognize your victory. Celtics huh. even have some units remaining down here. The Lord blesses the faithful. By defeating the Fatimids, the road to Jerusalem has been cleared for pilgrims. Alright, so now the only remaining question is, where is that third relic? It's a very well-made mission, uh, well mission overall, uh, featuring the cataphracts as well, featuring fire ships, featuring um, Byzantine defenses, uh, featuring arbalesters. It highlights the Byzantines very well. Which I appreciate a lot. And thematically it's just super cool. Um, I really like uh, the the historical accuracy of the map here. It's sort of a, an RPG-like scenario almost, instead of a traditional build and destroy. Ein fresco mita. Ein fresco Ago. 
Impero Porro Sane. Maybe there's a relic tucked back here in the corner. Maybe there's one on the tip of the island there. Maybe. There's definitely some enemies over here. Poor Mega now was boxed in. Never got a chance to get a shot off. A deselebrated? Okay, so this is just a town. So, there is like no third relic. Unless it really is back here. I definitely don't see a third one. I guess the Petra Nags must have them. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, I take it back. Relic has been spotted. I repeat, Relic has been spotted. Press correctus. I sane. All right, so now we'll just take our victory lap, and we'll be done with the mission. Good job, as always. The landscape looks beautiful as well. Um, I know that the first puzzle can be cheesed, but that's okay. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult to do the first, the initial part. Um, the important thing is to have the throwing axeman guy kind of get baited around by Alexius so that he's not doing damage while your archers clean up the remainder of the units. Um, it's a little bit of tricky micro, and it's certainly not trivial, but it isn't impossible. So the three relics were all in Anatolia here. And that, that makes sense. I think the Patriarch mentioned something about the relics having been taken by... Oh. There are souls here, huh? Soldiers on that poor island for the sole purpose of guarding relics. Sheesh. Oh, 
Bologna. Those are enemy legionaries too. I wonder what they're doing there. get this relic back, I will go ahead and delete Komunos to celebrate a victory well earned. Heidi attracts crusaders from the Western Kingdoms. Nice. I will say the Patriarch's reinforcements, the first wave at least, is super helpful. In any case, now we're done, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete our homeboy Alexis. Declare victory here. The Roman Empire had seemingly breathed its last, devastated by Turks and Normans. But amidst this darkness, Rome's brightest sun rose and brought a new dawn to the empire. After overthrowing the ineffective Nikephoros, Alexius began a series of reforms and conquests that restored the empire to greatness. Over a reign of 37 years, he proved to be among the empire's greatest rulers. Without Alexius Cominos, the empire would not have survived. It was through his action and his will that Rome was restored. Scenario by Ramzi Abdurrahim. Nice! So again, I've already commented on it. Uh, very fun, definitely non-traditional, but it still plays very well. Uh, Pacing-wise, there's not too much rushing you, um, but there are like those periodically triggered attacks to kind of encourage you to not tank and just wait for taxes, so that's that's good as well. Like the impending Petsneg attack, uh, the events where you're losing legitimacy, um, and of course the rebellion itself. Uh, these are all mechanics that kind of encourage the player to play faster, um, which is good because otherwise you can just kind of wait for the taxes to roll in and uh, build up your army and just crush everything, right? Um, these mechanics encourage the player to go out and do things and achieve objective and liberate cities while at the same time uh, you know, so it, it discourages turtling, but it also encourages the expansion uh, when your units are not fully upgraded. So it definitely has like a good progression in terms of uh, progressing from, oh my gosh, we just usurped a king and we are in a really bad spot to we are getting quite strong. Um, so yeah, that was uh, very fun, extremely well made. I enjoyed it. Filthy Delphia scenarios are pretty much, pretty much all winners in my book. Um, Let's see, was there, was there any other relic around the map? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Not too much to be had here. Maybe if we like destroyed the shrine and the wonder, it would prevent the Pechenegs from spawning on us. Um, I, I don't know if that's, if that's the intention or not. But it definitely, from the story, it didn't seem like we were intended to go this way anyway. Um, after repelling the attack, it there's no real benefit for us to eliminate the Pechenegg, so. Alright, excellent. My name has been The Clever Fool. I will see you all next time.